handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Thursday. It is the 6th of January, 2022. Going to look at the seventh race from the Big A, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean around the world. Let's look at the seventh race from Aqueduct, which allows optional claimer purse $84,000. Race for Phillies and Mayors, four year olds and upwards, never won 15000 twice at the main claiming starter or staper allowance race, which never won through races. Optional claim price $62,000. Seven horses, including a part of an entry, are entered to go the distance of ground here of 1,300 meters, if you want to go with that, or the distance of ground of six and a half furlongs on the aqueduct main track. 1,300 meters, six and a half furlongs main track. Top selection. I'm going to go with the number five horse here, who is just read it. Let's go 5-4-3-1 in the Superfecta. 5-4-3-1 Super. Top selection to 5 horse. Just read it. 4-year-old Philly by Constitution. Ray Handel trains this one. Jose Lascano gets the mounts. The horse's most recent outing came the 11th of December here at Aqueduct on the Slop. Six furlongs in the Garland of Roses. Facing very tough competition. Also, I don't think this horse handled the sloppy going. He finished 7 by 11 three quarter lengths there and just never really showed up. Was very wide and should have improved off the previous race. This horse kind of digressed. Coming here today, a lesser quality race in the middle of winter here at Aqueduct off of a decent workout pattern. I think the horse could get some redemption for the last race. Two back, the horse ran optional 100 at Churchill. Six furlongs, 3rd of November. First off the long refresh. The horse finished third by four lengths. Definitely wasn't going to win when it was stupidly wide, but really had a decent turn of foot late. I thought it was good off the, after all said and done. And then most recent race here at uh, Aqueduct, uh, before the last one, uh, the most recent race in 2021 uh, at Aqueduct, uh, six furlongs in the Cicada uh, last March. The horse went by head and was on the front end, just, you know, dueling a little bit, got the head in front late and held on to a very game victory. Very, very, very good run for her there. Uh, and then prior to that, they took the horse to territory to run at the Tapita, six and a half in the Cincinnati trophy. The horse finished 6 by 11 three quarter lengths there, and she just really couldn't quick enough. Also, didn't have the best beginnings there, uh, but before the here at Aqueduct, 6 furlongs and main special 84,000. Took her two starts to break the main, but she won by 6 and a quarter lengths. A little bit wide and a little bit drifting that day, but she got the job done very, very easily. Like the workout patterns, I think she'll get redemption from the last race. At 6 to 1, let's use her. Don't throw out the four horse here. Trini Luck. Um, Jose Gomez gets on this one for Rudy Rodriguez, the 10 pound apprentice. Um, most recently they ran the horse in the New York Stallions where the horse did not show up. A horrible, horrible trip. Horrible beginning. It just wasn't the day to win. Before that, they tried the horse in the Empire Distaff where the horse, again, I, I don't think he liked the slop there. And also, I don't think this horse is a router. I think he's more of a sprinter. Sprinting on the main track here at Aqueduct in January is what this horse wants to do. At 3-1, to one, let's use this horse here. So to recap my selection with the 7 from Aqueduct, let's take the 5 horse. Just read it. Give kudos to the 4 horse. Trinity Luck. 5-4-3-1 Super. Let's go 5-4 in the multi-race. So good luck to one, please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.